Most people in America are quite familiar with what poverty is because they hear about it in their schools, they witness it in their communities, and they might openly try to proactively help it in theory in their churches or their nonprofit organizations. The reality is there are many organizations across America that claim they help people with food insecurity. I have reached out to the local East Illinois Food Bank many times, and only one time did the coordinator, when I still had a cell phone, come out and hand me a gift card that I could utilize. But you know what? That gift card got stolen from me. So openly that made it hard for me to get food. Since then I've reached out to them multiple times saying, would you mind dropping some food off since your truck comes out here to the mall? Would you mind dropping off some proteins, some cans of pork, some cans of chicken for me? Because then I won't starve when we have rainy weather and I can't go out and make business during the day. The liars of America don't like to play, but it's fascinating how people will feel guilty when they walk into a Dollar Tree. They'll see the panhandler that sits there every day in his clockwork uh, shift work with his entire panhandling family, and they'll give him cash, they'll give him food that they just bought, and they'll just keep working that person who's on drugs. Now, not all of them are. I have a friend there who works in the morning, and openly I don't have a problem with him. I feed him myself when I can. But the truth is, in America, I'm a man who wants to find a new job. I'm a man who wants to build my business. And I've got somebody in a staple shop that's hacking my computer. Now, why do I say that? Because it's their Wi-Fi I'm on. Why do I believe that? Because I just had to reboot my whole fucking computer because the boy in that shop, blue, or the black woman in that shop, blue screened my computer because she didn't want to get caught for how much damage she's already done to my identity and my intellectual property, my copywritten work, my visual communications. So I lost every ounce of what I had on my computer. And I got fucking siblings that won't give me back my fucking drives. They've commandeered my property and stolen it from me. I've asked for it back, but they won't provide it back. Whoever's still alive, that is. So I can be mad, and I can still be a pastor. But I'm telling you, we have problems across America when people take away our rights and take away our mites. And here's the problem. I just reset this computer this morning. God himself, Jesus Christ, whatever the fuck you believe in, the angels actually walked me through how to do this. You see, Jesus and God and angels know every fucking play a man's going to play today. I am not a computer geek. But that's not the point. I'm proving to you that God speaks to anyone who is in struggle. But what I can also tell you is my new computer, this reset computer with nothing on it, already has problems with the keys working again. Can you believe it? It's only been reset by 20 minutes. So who the fuck is stalking me and playing with me? And the only place I did that upload and that download was through Staples. And guess who came on to duty that day?